and I don't succeed in it. Then I said, well, it's 2016 now, 2018, 75 years after, it's time that we do something for those who died here for our freedom. So to make a long story short, I had, and around three weeks before the unveiling of the monument, I had permission to make one and put it here. Three weeks? Three weeks. Well, I mean, wow. yes. We need some, to some, yeah. <laughs> some things do, do go uh, slowly uh, at the MOD, as you know, probably also in the UK. So we didn't have much time, but uh, at the moment that I did have permission, all the airbase stood behind it and helped me out tremendously well. You have seen the short book in uh, permission from Bristol Lorraine. Uh, a few of us uh, know him very well. He's a great friend of mine. As a first uh, star, uh, one star general, he was a help as well, uh, especially with this tremendous speech he did. Um, for me, it was quite simple. Uh, it's a, of course, it's a Denver school, which is important, but also very known to a lot of people. Uh, at the moment that I didn't have permission yet, I was already in contact with Louis Burby Jr. And the first thing that he said was, I'm coming home. So I didn't have permission, I didn't have a monument, I didn't have anything. So we had to find a challenge. Uh, one of the things is that uh, they were very, um, not happy with the idea that something had to be put in the ground to make a construction or whatever. So I didn't get the permission first, but at the moment that I said, I make it a mobile monument, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Because then they don't have to dig in the ground and you don't hit anything, which, uh, or it can be electricity or it can be fuel, whatever is in the ground, you don't hit that. So I chose out a very big uh, concrete uh, block, which is behind. And there's a construction made up, and they don't walk away through the concrete block anyway. So, <laughs> but I have to admit, uh, that the help of the blessing, and this year, uh, it was uh, the 4th of May, quite a, a gathering again, and also personnel of the airbase uh, themselves were present here, and they said, well, at this moment, it's really nice, but we're going to do more about it. We want to make this a really nice spot to keep the remembrance of this tender to be better alive. So, fantastic. So Louis Burpee was here, and this I more or less said at the last 4th of May as well, he, in 2018 he said, why this crew? Why this aircraft? Because there are so many crashes. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, in the Netherlands alone we are between five and 6,000 mm -hmm. aircraft crashes, mm -hmm. and that's in Dutch soil or in the, in the sea, but that's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And for me, it made me per it made it very personal uh, in the in that book that I read that uh, Louis Burpee, uh, his wife was pregnant at the moment that he had to uh, to do this mission. He was one of the three uh, chaps who had the same uh, problem, so their wife were uh, uh, almost pregnant. So he didn't see his son, and the son didn't see his father. And I'm a father of five kids, so I thought, well, this is a pretty sad story. Of course, it happened a lot in the Second World War. But yeah, being on this, this airbase with the Denver crew and this story, I thought, well, it has to be done. Mm -hmm. So, in 2018, uh, we had this monument for them. And like I said, it was quite a challenge to have it here. But after since that, with the cooperation of the Judicial Room, we have more and more visitors. And I'm really happy with that. Not for the monument itself. But that we keep on remembering this group yeah. and all the other ones that uh, gave their lives for our freedom. Okay. The upper part of the monument is a crankshaft with uh, with uh, pistons on it, and I got that from a major who was uh, working at that moment uh, at the uh, Dutch Air Force. But then for all the digging up of aircraft which were crashed or new crashes. So everything which is crashed in the Netherlands goes in new track airports. So I, I had been uh, contacted, was in a better contact with uh, him, a relationship, and uh, he invited me to go there and I said, well, do you have something like a propeller or something that I can make a money model out of? And he said, well, I've got something different here. I've got a crankshaft with uh, pistons. And there were five pistons uh, originally on that crankshaft. And I thought, do you have uh, two spare ones for me? <laughs> well, I think as the engine is the heart of the aircraft, and that's why I thought, okay, seven crew members, seven pistons. So another friend of mine wrote two extra pistons on it, 
and uh, I had to do a lot of work in those three weeks. One of this was after welding it up, I had to uh, sandblast uh, all of the structure. It was last me for five, six hours to get all the all the metal uh, just to leave. slightly out of balance. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you are here. You will help me out problem. to uh, share. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, but I have to admit, when it was standing there uh, on the Thursday, the day before the building, uh, the sun was already there. Business the and was moving there like a bunch of clouds. So, of course, I was pretty happy with it. And also, I have to be honest. Uh, sometimes it leaks a little bit. The Tuesday evening before uh, I was in the factory when this was made, where I did sell it. I'm happy I've had my flight so, past now. The plate was uh, on the shelf and I was sticking with the director of the factory all the letters and uh, numbers out. It was more or less upside down. It was final walk around it, ten o'clock in the evening, and then I discovered. When I was walking around, I was reading it in the right way, and I saw April. Oh. Oh. And we don't know how but six or eight pairs of eyes have overlooked it, and that's what you get when you are already on the stretching. So we can see the word May now. It was April. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we didn't have any time for it. We were not late to make it another new one, and uh, also costly, of course. Yeah. Stainless steel is pretty expensive. Yeah. Uh, but we let I, we let it like this. We couldn't do it in a, in a better way before the beginning. But after that, people told me no, leave it like that. Yeah, yeah. it's a story. It's a story. It's a story. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But uh, again, I'm really happy that you all uh, came here. Uh, pay respect to, to the group, and uh, I will leave you with that now. I say, can we just say, wonderful, everything that everybody involved done, and then all the hospitality we've had today, but just the fact that you do these things. Uh, me personally, in my country, I don't think we do enough, um, and, and our governments and things, whenever we come abroad, all the cemeteries, the walk grave commissions, all, all the everything's so well kept and we're so well treated every time we come. Yeah. It is yeah. awesome to just it's just wonderful to see how you all think of it and you treat it, respect it and how you treat those from the way to do Say like uh, thank you very much indeed, and it's uh, it's an honor for me to do so. Like this, for Tina as well, and uh, it's more than our duty, I think, and to keep the respect for the government. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And sometimes we have something that proud to do to mention. We had of course the Lancaster coming over, and maybe you want to know why the Fourth of May, because the village yeah. was done on the Fourth of May. Fourth of May is our Dutch Remembrance Day. Uh, it's also the day that the Lancaster uh, the BBMF is only scheduled to fly over to Belgium <laughs> <Islands. laughs> because it's for their remembration of uh, of Savannah. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 we have, we have, uh, And somehow in the in the past they chose it for the fourth of May yeah. because maybe it's remembrance day here and also in the past <laughs> other villages of towns asked for a fly pass because of their remembering yeah. or the crews which are very rare or monument. So that's why it started on the 4th of May. So if you want to have a Lancaster over your monument, it has to be on the 4th of May. And that's the 16th of May. It's what it is. So last 4th of May, uh, I was extremely happy uh, that the BBMF had the permission to do the fly, the past fly pass on the fly itself. So, anyhow, although two days later, they should be over the King's Head. <laughs> and then we got the rain and they didn't fly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And the boys themselves, uh, uh, some of the things that they just want to just talk about it. And they really want to let it. It's a dead break, they have lunch, they have a chat with the, the Dutch Historic Guide. I'm a volunteer for the Dutch Historic Guide, that's why I'm here. It's already more than a decade. And they really want to have the break and we bring them uh, some petrol and they're happy. And that's our friendship. So they didn't like it. Uh, the King's choice to have the Lancaster. It's a royal Air Force, so they have to do it. So afterwards, they could have landed. So yeah, yeah, the right. idea was, if you don't land, you don't have to take off scans, so you have less 
uh, problems maybe with the aircraft. So when it's returned, it's going to blow up the old ball. You never hear any plan when he's. That's the idea. But uh, all the ship will see you up. Proud is that we make the flight. A lot of place in the Belgium and Netherlands. Smartphone camera. Yeah, you can move with this one. Yeah. <laughs>